Hello friends, I am Guru Kala and I have with me the Redmi 2 and I am going to try to root this phone and show you how to do it while doing the same. So let's start with the process. First of all, I have this folder where I have all the necessary files. I will upload, I will compress this folder into a zip and upload it somewhere so that you can use it too. Now before we start the process, we will have to copy a file to our phone's internal storage. So we will connect it to our PC with the USB cable to do the transfer. So once we have connected it, we will copy this update super SEO file. I have pressed the control C and here is the device connected as MTP. Now I will press the control V. So here we have the file. All right. Now let's start with installing the drivers. And we need to install drivers for our phone so that we can use the ADB or fast boot in order to perform the necessary steps yes click next next and next where is the thing going so it's installing in the background i hope it's going to take some time and i will resume this video when it's completed and here we go looks like the installation is finished so we'll press the finish button now to confirm the same whether these drivers have installed successfully or not we will have to see it for ourselves so first of all we need to switch to our phone and have to focus on it for a second and once there we will go to settings and if you haven't unlocked your developer options already you will do it by going to about phone and then pressing the MIUI version field by seven times this will unlock your developer options developer options once it is unlocked you can find them in settings and then additional settings and here we go here are the developer options and and once in developer options make developer options make sure that the developer options are enabled and usb debugging is turned on if this it is set on the orange stick it is on and once you have enabled this connect your redmi 2 to the pc using the usb cable and then come to the folder on in which we were working and in this for when while you are in this folder press shift and right click anywhere then open command window and then give the command adb devices here we go again it is trying to recreate this we start the ADB server and it is saying unauthorized because we need to authorize it by going to our phone and authorizing the ADB access click OK now when we give the ADB devices command again it is showing that the there is a device attached with the ID B47 and blah 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 that's all this means that our drivers are working fine once our drivers are working fine we will give the command adb reboot bootloader when we give this command this will reboot our phone into fast boot and it has rebooted very quickly and once in fast boot we will now give the command fast boot flash recovery space cwm dot img because we are trying to flash the cwm recovery file and as you can see that the cwm recovery has been flashed successfully now we can disconnect the cable and keep pressing the or button so that the phone force restarts or you can just pull out the battery if you want 
Vodafone has switched off now and it will force restart once it force restarts I will just pause it here and the phone is still booting on once it restarts you will just have to switch it off again or you could have just pulled the battery earlier itself so we'll power off and tap again to power off once the phone power offs completely shuts down it will be confirmed by a slight vibration when once it does press this volume button along with the power button simultaneously so i am pressing this volume button and why am uh, while i do so while doing so i'll press the power button too and i have to keep this combination pressed until the phone boots into the recovery mode Now as you can see the phone has booted into some weird mode where we will select the recovery option and it will again boot up. So here we have the schedule and recovery it is touch based recovery. Now we will go to the install zip option. Oh, wait a second. So we were on the installation part so we will select the install zip these volume up and down keys can be used to scroll through and the power button can be used to select the option so we will select the install zip option and as we have copied the update file to our uh, to our internal storage we will select SD card and we select the slash zero and then at the bottom we have the update super su file here we will select the yes option and as we can see that the installation was successful now we will go back and select the report system now option and it is asking whether we want to fix the root access if this comes up we will press yes now the phone will reboot and we will see whether we were able to gain the root access or not and we have rebooted completely I had installed an application in advance to check whether root access has been acquired here we, here we have the super SU application to access the root to allow some applications to have super user permissions as per our wish and we have, we have the trade name backup application to confirm that the phone has been rooted we will run this application the super user request and try performing a backup of the of our system application just to confirm whether the root access is working fine here we have the basic trade dreams and we'll perform backup and as you can see root access is working perfectly fine thank you for watching hope you were able to root your redmi 2 without any hiccups See you all, like and comment this video or subscribe to our channel for more such videos. Peace out.